Hello everybody, Brandon here with Enduro E-Bikes Canada. And today we're doing some spec testing on the 1,500 watt Enduro E-Bike. We're gonna find out its top speed, what kind of range we can expect using throttle only, as well as how quickly it can accelerate. So without wasting any more time, let's hop on the bike and let's go for a ride. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and test is the bike's acceleration. So we've got a off-road trail here. I can see all the way to the end of the path that there's no one around. So let's see how quick this thing can accelerate. Let's put a timer up and let's count this down. Three, two, one, go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 53, 54, we got 54 kilometers per hour as the top speed and this thing accelerates damn quick. For a base model bike, this is more than enough. This is an absolute blast, wow. So now we know the top speed of the bike and how quickly it can accelerate. The last thing we need to find out is how much range it has. So to do that, I'm just gonna simply drive it using only the throttle until the battery goes completely dead. The cutoff voltage for this battery pack is gonna be 40 volts and we're sitting at 51.5 right now. I'm going to ride the bike through various different sorts of terrain, uphills, downhills, hard accelerations, light accelerations, cruising speeds, and full speeds just so we can get a good idea for what the bike will do under normal operating conditions. Man, this is crazy how long this battery's lasting. It's only a 22.4 amp hour battery. I'd say that could be attributed to the small motor size in the low amperage controller. It's only a 40 amp controller on this uh, base model bike. So that helps get us the kind of range you're seeing here. 56.4 kilometers, still going. Oh, there it goes. BMS just cut off the battery power. Battery is flashing. All right, so there you have it. That's the total mileage for the 22.4 amp hour battery that is in this 1,500 watt enduro e-bike. On a single charge, the total ride time was an hour and 42 minutes. We have an ambient temp right now of 16 degrees Celsius and we started with 20 degrees Celsius and we managed to travel a whopping 57.2 kilometers on one full charge, which is really good considering that this bike is a base model bike and that all we used was just the throttle. And by no means was that an easy ride for the bike. I was really using that throttle on off, on off, you know, full speed, lots of acceleration. So overall, really impressed with how long the battery lasted on this bike. And would definitely say as a daily commuter, this would be more than enough for most people. If you guys want to see more ride along videos in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the Enduro E-Bikes Canada YouTube channel and we'll see you on the next ride.